Okay, folks, today we have a 2000 Rhinel 240. 24 foot vessel here. Very good condition, especially for his age. It's kept covered. It's got the advanced throttle, Mercury 300 classic throttle. Cup holder engages. Speedometer is currently not working right now. It has a Kenwood CD Sirius satellite with a USB and a phone plug. But rest molded. And we have steps that can lead up to the deck. If you already want to go forward. Our hatch and stainless handrails. Of course, it is considered a walk through with that. Got a companionway door. Folding. Nice strap to hold it in place. We got quite a few cup holders. There's one. The material of the seats and cushions are in really good shape. Some storage. Courtesy light. Some more cup holders. We have a large back seat area, which actually will pull down and extend it oh, about another foot or so. And we have a sun pad cushion, good shape. Got recessed pop up cleats, hit a button, spring loaded. Handrail and swim ladder on the transom. A little bit of a transom deck, I guess you could call a little swim platform. We have a rear view mirror. And we do have our working hour meter. Currently at 394.4. And we have a nice little V-berth up here, and seats. Cushions are in good shape. Very long berth area. Tall person can get in there pretty good. Port. Yeah, we can relax and watch a little TV on the Sylvania DVD player. Flat screen, it's about 12, 13 inches, I would think. Speakers. The Uniden submersible VHF. We have a little sink. Does also come with the porta potty. We can stay overnight. And then we hatch. Let's 
seats are adjustable. We have a hatch here. That's where the anchor is currently stored. And here we can see the engine compartment. It's a Mercruiser V8, 7.4 fuel injected, multi-port. It's tucked in here tight. We have two batteries replaced last year, two ever starts, one in each side of the transom. There is a pump back here. Has a little shower with hot and cold water. The hydraulic on this, it's one thing that needs to be replaced. It uh, can't hold up the hatch at this point. And the stern light stores neatly right here. Pretty slick. Throw the battery. The hull of this boat is in beautiful condition. No bottom paint, no dings, no nicks that I've seen. It looks pretty pristine. Got our lights up front. Probably only the really drawback that I see is the trailer. It is steel, steel and salt water. Just don't go well together, but it is usable. Hubs are fine. It'll get you where you need to go, but we'll be needing replacement at some point. Of course, it takes away from the beauty of the boat. It is a very good looking craft. You have it, you have a little step design. This boat has 454 horsepower. It planes very quickly and that step design helps too. fuel. It's pretty slick. It's got a hot and cold transom shower. We have our ski, our tow rope eye, stainless. Fold down ladder, swimming ladder, handrail. Little, little platform here, jump off up into the water or sit on. We have a pop up recess cleat, spring loaded. That's stainless hardware to hold on to our bumpers, hanging fenders with the right connector. From Mercruiser Bravo One Drive. Very good shape. Very well taken care of. Four blade stainless prop. 
beautiful condition. Owner washed down, flushed it out after each use. So once again, here we have our 2000 Rhinel 240. Very good shape for a boat of this age. Very well taken care of.